The question today is what causes tennis elbow and what can Handmaster Plus do to help? This is probably one of my favorite questions. Um, I'm a little bit critical of how we have become complacent that tennis elbow is only a wrist extensor tendonitis problem. I, I believe that this could not be farther from the truth. We always see tennis elbow in situations where there is repetitive grip activities, uh, whether that be in sports, in music, in the workplace, or in our hobbies, or our daily habits. We're always repetitive gripping. And I speak about this a lot um, because this is where the idea of Handmaster Plus originally stemmed from, was from a uh, fellow professional golfer, friend of mine who had tennis elbow. As we studied it clearly, I was shocked that we don't recognize that at the uh, lateral epicondyle, that is where the origin of uh, the common extensor tendon originates. Um, the common extensor tendon is made of wrist extensors, that is true, um, but we, we, for some reason, uh, ignore the idea that there is two finger extensors. Someone may ask, what do the finger extensors have anything to do with on grip? And if you've seen any of our FAQ videos or if you've been to our website, you can see that we have done extensive research on surface electromyography that shows that the finger extensor muscles contract anytime I'm gripping something. The finger extensor muscles that are contracting are crossing, or sorry, are originating from the lateral epicondyle, and I believe they are extremely key in lateral epicondylitis. We have an exercise. Squeeze the ball for a count of one, extend only the fingers for a count of two, which contracts the finger extensor muscles. Then we extend the wrist for the count of three while keeping the thumb onto the ball. In that situation, we strengthen both the finger extensor muscles as well as the wrist extensor muscles. If I'm training a, a, a patient that has anything to do with repetitive grip, whether in sports, in music, in the workplace, they will be doing that exercise to stabilize, to, to maximize their performance, maximize their balance, but also to prevent tennis elbow. This is why I believe it is completely key to address the strength and the um, condition of the finger extensors as well as the wrist extensors. And once you do that, you will see lateral epicondylitis um, gone and gone for good.